Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. Today's video, we're going to be giving an update with respect to the new penalties and the new practical application of recently promulgated rules and regulations pertaining to the more stringent application of labor regulations on foreign nationals wishing to work or endeavor in employment activities here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Um, as, has been, as has been previously noted, new rules came down the pike on June 21st with respect to um, the penalties for violation of Thai labor law, most notably significant increases in uh, fines associated with illegal act, uh, employment activity here in the kingdom, and there were also criminal penalties which were created as a result of the recently promulgated changes to the legislation. Uh, recently, it's come to my attention via the Bangkok Post, and I'm, and I'm quoting directly from a Bangkok Post article, uh, July 6, 2017. Uh, the headline of this article is 15 Days to Bring Migrant Workers Under Net, and to just quote directly one specific line, people involved in the employment of unregistered migrant workers will have 15 days to apply for their recruitment after the new labor law was suspended for 180 days, said a senior labor official. What's going on here? Well, basically, what everyone is scrambling to do with respect to migrant labor, and by migrant labor, that's slightly I'm, uh, that's a slightly differentiating term from foreign labor, and I'll get into the difference here in a minute. Uh, but basically, what's going on is everybody is scrambling to sort of get compliant with the new rules. Uh, the new rules at first were there was a moratorium which placed a 120-day uh, delay on the enforcement of the new rules and regulations. Uh, those interested in exactly what those rules and regulations are going to be should check out another video on this channel uh, that, that specifically gets into that. But leaving it aside, uh, just talking specifically uh, as to the practical implications of the delay and what's going on with this, uh, at first 120 day suspension was placed on it, then that was increased to 180 days. So now as of Jan 1, 2018, that's when we can expect these rules to be in full force and effect. Uh, what's happened here is officials have basically said, look, effectively they need time. Everybody on all sides of this needs time to go ahead and get into compliance. And there was kind of a mass exodus on some of the borders with respect to foreign migrant laborers because they were really afraid of adverse consequences from the, new, from the application of the new rules. Um, I think the delay was a good idea. I think maybe it would have been a little bit better to sort of build in the delay and, and not have this instantaneously come into effect. Although I do have to say, unlike other countries where things sort of get phased in and you don't really notice when things are phased in, um, the way that Thailand often does things where they just immediately enact something and, and that is from that moment forward sort of the law of the land, um, it does have a tendency to cause people to understand exactly what's going on a lot more quickly uh, because it's instantaneously in effect. It's not one of these things where you say, oh, they're changing the rules, oh, yeah, okay, six months, I'll get around to worrying about that. Um, it's often been my experience that folks that think that way um, oftentimes can find themselves in more trouble than they like to be in because they just procrastinate dealing with the issue. Whereas the legal system over, or the regulatory amendment process over here seems to be instantaneous, which essentially lights a fire under everybody to go ahead and get into compliance as quickly as possible, which is exactly what's now happening here. Notwithstanding the moratorium, officials have said, look, you've got a couple of weeks, let's go ahead and get everybody on the books, um, let's get everybody registered up, and so we know where everyone stands when the time comes in January uh, to go ahead and start really enforcing these new rules and penalties uh, to the fullest extent of the law. And understand, some of these penalties are pretty significantly steep. I mean, there's criminal uh, liability attached to some of this stuff. There's significant fines attached to violations of some of these labor codes. And as, as has been previously stated, this is not an insignificant change in the rules. Um, for that reason, I think everybody decided that delay in implementation was a good idea. And moreover, it also allows sort of this gray area period to allow people who probably were somewhere like in the ether, if you will, kind of in a, in a limbo state with respect to the old rules to really, and to really come in uh, to properly be in compliance with the new rules, put everyone on notice so that they know where everything stands, so that come Jan 1, 
we're basically ready to deal with everything with sort of a clean slate. 